guys, my name is Nick and I work at Oxfam and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you make a multi-story garden. So naturally, one would ask what is a multi-story garden? A multi-story garden is what is called in other terms a pyramid garden. Why is that? Because a multi-story garden looks like a pyramid. So this is an example of a multi-story garden. So it is basically a, a, a garden that's built vertically in stories or in layers like this. So the first layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer, sixth layer. Normally a complete multi-story garden has six layers. Yeah? Uh, here we have Rashid and Mankush. They are going to assist us in constructing this garden. So step one, you start by erecting these short sticks, small short sticks like this. So you go, you find about seven sticks. So six, six sticks to support the dam liner. What do you need when you want to construct a multi-story garden? You need a few tools. So one of the things you need in constructing your multi-story garden is this it's a set of six layers so the material that we use is normally the dam liner so one layer looks like this this is a layer that is actually it comes from the dam liner you can use the dam liner or a HDPE material in constructing your multi-story garden so what we do at Oxfam, we sell each set at 2,000 shillings, but in case you want us to construct it for you, we sell it at 2,500. So the bottom layer is normally about 4 feet in diameter. So what you do, you do half the diameter, you place your first stick at the center of your bottom layer. That's about, you measure about uh, so this is about two feet, four feet I mean, and then two feet at the center. And then once you do that, you erect the other small short sticks around the, the bottom layer such that it's able to stand on its own. Then once you finish, you start adding soil. So my colleagues here will assist me in adding the soil. So this is the top soil. Um, so you will fill the bottom layer of your multi-story garden until it's half full. You fill it with topsoil first. So like the way we are doing, you fill it until it's half full. While at the same time, you'll be spreading the soil such that the bottom layer can be able to stand on its own without the help of the short sticks. So the work of these short sticks is basically to be able to help the, the dam liner or the HDPA material to be able to stand on its own. And as we continue to add the soil, you'll notice that it's slowly able to stand on its own. So you'll be spreading the soil on the in the corners like this so we had initially said that you fill it with topsoil half full so after you fill it with the topsoil half full the next thing that you do is you now fill it the the, the rest of the dam liner with uh, topsoil mixed with manure so you first have to mix the topsoil with manure because what we are doing is basically creating another garden and as you know crops cannot grow without food and the food for crops is the manure so you have to find well decomposed manure here we are using goat manure once the bottom layer is full, 
what you do is you remove the short stick one by one because right now the bottom layer can stand on its own as you can see there is no need to have the small short sticks the only purpose they, they, their only purpose was just to help us in in enabling the in enabling the, the, the liner to be able to stand on its own but once it's full you remove them and then you take your ruler or tape measure or whatever item you have for measurement and you measure three inches so that's about here and then you start again erecting the small short sticks at least in about four or six corners like this so you erect you erect them all round like this we've already installed the three layers the three bottom layers so this is the fourth layer so we are going to repeat the same same process the first half of the of the layer we will fill it with soil or with topsoil and then the rest of the layer up we are going to completely fill it with the topsoil mixed with manure so this is the fifth layer um, once it's full you uninstall or you remove the short sticks and then you go to the final layer now the topmost layer this is the topmost layer and it's also the final layer so we will fill it again with the same process we start halfway with topsoil then the rest with topsoil mixed with manure before we finally now finish the entire multi-story garden today i'm going to talk to you about the benefits of a multi-story garden so as we had stated a multi-story garden is more looks more like a pyramid and it's a its structure looks like a pyramid but in this pyramid you're able to grow your own crops it's a form of vertical gardening it's a form of urban gardening and as it is a form of urban gardening it, this means that you're able to grow your own crops even in urban areas urban centers because what a multi-story garden does and i'll take this as an example is that you're able to maximize on space so the little or the minimal space that you have you are able to maximize on it so supposing we take an example of this multi-story garden in this garden it's about four and a half feet in diameter and you can imagine those four and a half feet we've grown about a hundred kills and if we were doing it in a conventional way in um, a space of four and a half meters it would fit approximately 16 kills just about there but since we've maximized on space and we built a multi-story garden we are able to do even up to 100 kills two it's energy saving energy saving in what way energy saving in a, in the sense that you don't use so much of your energy weeding your crops so for example let's take an example of these scales you won't use a lot of energy weeding the scales because um, your the, the weeds are minimal first of all because of the canopy formed by the scales and because uh, it's just one area just a small space you're going around so you save a lot on the energy the other benefit is the safety of the food so number one when when you go to the mamambogas you normally don't know where they get those scales from those spinach from you don't know what water they've used to grow those crops you don't know which chemicals they've added to grow those crops so if you have your own multi-story garden and you have your own food you know that I've, I've grown this from manure you know which fertilizer you've grown it from 
you know which pesticides you've used you see you're safe so you find that you will even minimize the lifestyle diseases that come with the the skumas and the spinaches that we eat so that you know we don't know where they come from it is you can make money from a multi-story garden so supposing you use your multi-story gardens to grow strawberries you find that if well maintained a whole multi-story garden can um, grow you at least up to even a kilo or more of strawberries so you find that if you have about a hundred multi-story gardens those are like about a hundred kilos of, of strawberries so um, if you are if you want to do commercial farming of strawberries multi-story gardens are a good option of commercial strawberry farming the other benefit is that you are able to minimize on loss of water in what way so for example here our multi-story garden holds about 100 plants so if we were to take this in a conventional way a um, hundred crops would occupy a big space of land so that means that you have to waste too much water like trying to um, irrigate all those crops but in one multi-story garden since it's under one roof under one structure you are able to minimize the loss of water please welcome to oxfam oxfam is the farmers marketplace so come um, let us join hands we deal with multi-story gardens we also deal with uh, fruit seedlings if you are interested in fruit seedlings we have them today i'll sell to you the uh, the sets of multi-story gardens we sell each at 2000 shillings and we can also install it for you for 2500 shillings feel free we are here we are ready for you come let us to shikane mikono to own the multi-story gardens